going to be hard to get that one up. It's a trophy. So I was on this bridge and I caught a trout from here. You have to very slowly bring it up, especially if you use a six pound test. Fish is about three or four pounds. So we're gonna try it again. I just wanted to show you guys what's going on here. Behind the uh, pillars of the bridge, the fish kind of rest. So this would be bad, you don't want that. What you want is behind the pillars. We'll break up the current and fish will hide behind there. That's some serious white water there. So we're gonna give this another try here. See if we can get a fish on here. Usually it happens pretty quick. Let's give it a shot. So of course the trusty uh, inflated worm. And what we want, you can see the pillar there. We want to go just behind the pillar. I just usually drop it right down in there. Right there, that's where they're at. And he was on. It's called bridge fishing. A lot of people have bridge uh, nets um, to, to uh, lower the net down in. And it helps them get the, uh, the fish up. Look at that. That is a nice fish. Another one on here. Whoa, another huge. Look at that thing. Big one. Big in here. See if we can get him up. That's another just beauty. Look at that fish. Go slowly. You could shake that hook right out. It's a beauty. Oop. Tighten the drag up a little bit. Look at that. Another beauty. Just a beauty. Not as big as this one, but. Oh, Just get the other towel on this fish. And that's a wrap because two's the limit. No, that's, that's a good day of fishing right there. Naugatuck River. Off of the bridge. Broodstock salmon. Nobody fishes this. This all goes back to you gotta fish places where no one else fishes. No one's probably done this before. I upgraded to a 30 pound braid and barely getting these fish up. I mean, because it could easily rip out of their mouth. The hook's almost too small. Number four hook, long shank. But this is what it's all about, you guys. This one will be getting it go.